in this video let us try to write the verilog code of nt 3 encoder using behavioral style of modeling so we know that encoder contains two power n inputs and we get n outputs now to get a to 3 encoder i'll take the value of n as 3 so 2 power 3 which is nothing but 8 and here n outputs are nothing but 3 outputs so here 8 indicates 8 inputs 3 indicates 3 outputs so i'm taking 8 inputs as y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 similarly 3 outputs are nothing but a0 a1 a2 for better understanding i'll try to assume some of the equivalents internally so here i'm considering it as 0 this is 1 this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let us try to understand the working of this 8 to 3 encoder by means of a truth table. So here the truth table will give the relationship between inputs and outputs. Now if I try to activate Y0, so activating Y0 is nothing but giving an high signal at the input of Y0. Means I'll apply 1 here and the rest position I'll put as 0. So if you're activating Y0, the equivalent of Y0 is nothing but 0. So 0 in terms of binary will be written as 0, 0, 0. I'll consider the first bit as A2, second one is A1, third one is A0. So here this A2 is nothing but most significant bit. A0 is least significant bit. So we get output as 0, 0, 0. The same thing you can observe in the first line of your truth table. If you're activating Y0, output is nothing but 0, 0, 0. Next, if I try to activate Y1, activating Y1 is nothing but putting 1 here and this will be 0. So Y1, the equivalent of Y1 is nothing but 1. So 1 in terms of binary will be written as 0, 0, 1. Here the first bit is called as A2. This is called as A1. This is called as A0. Meaning that A2 is called as most significant bit. A0 is called as least significant bit. So I'll get output as 0, 0, 1. So if y1 is high, output is nothing but 1, which is 0, 0, 1. The same story is applicable for all the remaining cases. Now if I try to activate y2, means putting 1 here and applying zeros in the rest of the position. So the equivalent of y2 is nothing but 2. So 2 in terms of binary will be written as 0, 1, 0. So I'll get output as 0, 1, 0. If you are activating y2, Output is nothing but 0, 1, 0. Next, if I try to activate Y3, means putting 1 here, the equivalent of Y3 is nothing but 3, 3 in terms of binary. It will be written as 0, 1, 1. So the output will be 0, 1, 1. When Y3 is high, I'm getting output as 0, 1, 1. Now, if I try to activate Y4, equivalent of Y4 is nothing but 4. 4 in terms of binary will be written as 1, 0, 0. So here it will be 1, 0, 0. If Y4 is high, I'm getting output as 1, 0, 0. If I try to activate Y5, the equivalent of Y5 is nothing but 5. 5 in terms of binary will be written as 1, 0, 1. The output will be 1, 0, 1. So if Y5 is high, output is 1, 0, 1. Now if I try to activate Y6, if Y6 is high, 6 equivalent will be the output. The equivalent of 6 is 1, 1, 0. So I'll get output as 1, 1, 0. If y6 is high, output is 1, 1, 0. Next, if I try to activate y7, equivalent of 7 will be the output. So the binary equivalent of 7 is nothing but 1, 1, 1. So here output will be 1, 1, and 1. So if y7 is high, I'm getting output as 1, 1, 1. Now let us try to write the Boolean expressions based on this particular truth table. So a2 is equal to, check the position where it is high. So the equivalents for this are y4, y5, y6 and y7. So the Boolean expression should be written something like this, which is y4 plus y5 plus y6 plus y7. Next, let me write for a1. So a1, which is y2, y3 and the last two, which is y6, y7. So a1 is equal to y2 plus y3 plus y6 plus y7 for a0. a0 is equal to, check the positions, which is y1 y3, y5, y7. So this is y1, y3, y5 and y7. 
So the logical expressions that we got for the output A2, A1, A0 are A2 is nothing but Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7. A1 is Y2, Y3, Y6, Y7. Similarly, coming to A0, it is Y1, Y3, Y5, Y7. Now, based upon this, we need to try to draw the logic diagram. So as there are three outputs, there will be three OR gates. So this is first one. This is second, this is third. So if you want to write the output of A2, inputs are nothing but 4, 5, 6, 7. So Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7 are the inputs. Suppose if you want to write for A1, A1 is nothing but 2, 3, 6, 7. So it is 2, 3, 6, 7. Next, if you want to write for A0, so A0 is nothing but 1, 3, 5, 7. So this is Y1, Y3, Y5 and Y7. So the Logic diagram looks something like. Now let us try to write the very log code of 8 3 encoder in behavioral style of modeling. So first click on file, click on new project, and we need to give some name to our project. So my name of the project is encoder 8 cross 3 using behavioral modeling. Choose some location followed by working directory, and here top level source type should be HDL, which is nothing but hardware description language. Click on next, next, and finish. So a blank project is created by the name encoder 8 cross 3 using behavioral modeling. Now right click on it, new source. In order to write the source code, we need to choose Verilog module, give the file name, click on next, next and finish. Now in order to write the Verilog code in behavioral style of modeling, we need to concentrate only on the truth table. So if you observe the block diagram here, it contains input is Y and output is A. So module, module name and port list. So in port list, first output, which is A and input is Y. Next comes port declaration. In port declaration, output so here output is nothing but a but there are three bits are there so it should be written in vector format so output two down to zero a meaning that a of zero a of one and a of similarly input here also vector way of declaration we need to give which is seven down to zero seven down to zero y so output is a input is y and always make a point that if you are writing a code in behavioral style of modeling output should always be declared as a register so here output is nothing but two down to zero a this should be declared as register so reg Two down to zero a this point is very important if you are writing a code in behavioral style of modeling so always at the rate so whenever there are changes in the values of y the following block of code should get executed case y whenever there is a case there should be end case so now concentrate on the truth table so here first when the equivalent is all zeros and y naught is one i'm getting output as zero 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 so it should be written something like this so here eight inputs are there so it is eight binary 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, means if you're activating y not what is the output so output is nothing but a is equal to 3 tick binary 0, 0, 0. so blindly follow the truth table next if you're activating y1 so if y1 is 1 and y not is 0 i have to get output as 0, 0, 001 so to make it faster i'm copy pasting it so this is y not this is y1 now if y 2 is high output will be 0, 1, 0. Now if y3 is high y3 means Three equivalent will be the output which is 0 1 1 so in the first case it is y0 y1 y2 y3 now it should be y4 if y4 is high output is 1 0 0 if y5 is high output will be 1 0 1 next if y6 is high output is 1 1 0 if y7 is high output will be 1 1 1 and whenever there is a case there should be any case if you want you can add the default statement here if all the above cases are false then the default value a will be created binary 0 0 0 if you want you can add a dollar display statement which is optional so whenever there is a case there will be end case whenever there is a module there should be end module so this is how we write the source code of 8 to 3 encoder in behavioral style of module so now let me write the test bench in order to do it right click so once we are done with writing the source code let me synthesize it so if you have the synthesis completed successfully view rtl schematic so this is a schematic of encoder 8 cross 3 which contains 8 inputs and 3 outputs if you double click you can view the internal next view technology schematic so it will be seen in the form of input buffers output buffers and lookup tables now let me try to write the test bench to test this particular module to very log text picture give some file name and add an extension called as TB, which stands for testament. Click on next, next, and so in Xilinx, a default template will be created, which is a module, module name. Inputs are treated as registers, outputs are treated as wires, and this is nothing but unit under test. Means this is the module that we are going to test. Now, initial begin. After initial begin, I'm adding a dollar monitor statement to see the result in console window. So dollar monitor, dollar time. So A is equal to percentile B and Y is equal to percentile. So initially, the value of input, which is Y, is zero. So here, always. So initially, the input values are zero. If you want, you can write this in proper format, like 
as you know that 8 cross 3 encoder contains 8 inputs so you can write like this 8 tick binary 80 here dollar monitor statement is used to see the result in console window so initially value of y is 0 so if you want to write it in proper format it should be written like this 8 tick binary 80 next after applying some amount of delay we need to apply the remaining value so let me take it for uh, 100 nanoseconds so here hash 100 indicates 100 nanoseconds so after 100 nanoseconds the value of y we have to give here so the value of y will be here i'll put it as one next. again after 100 nanoseconds i'm making y1 is equal to one next y y2 is high y3 is high y4 y5 y6 y7 so if you observe the initial value is zero after 100 nanoseconds of delay i'm giving the value as i'm activating y0 next y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 so save it check behavioral syntax simulate behavioral model zoom to full view so here y is nothing but input a is nothing but output if you want you can elaborate this so let me try to analyze this particular waveform when inputs all are zeros you are getting output as zero means the default statement will get printed suppose if i am activating y not if you are activating y not output will be zero 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 next if you are activating y1 y1 equivalent is 1 which is nothing but 0 0 1 so that's what you can see here in the output next if you are activating y2 y2 means 2 is the output which is 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 is the output next if you are activating y3 so the equivalent of 3 will get printed in the output 3 is nothing but 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 is the output next if you are activating y4 4 is the output which is 1 0 0 next 5 5 equivalent is 1 0 1 if you are activating y6 6 equivalent is 110 if you are activating y7 7 will be the output which is 111 the same result you can see here in the console window here the zero indicates zero nanoseconds of delay 100 means 100 nanoseconds 200 means 200 nanoseconds and so on 